welcome back to my channel. I got George in the back. I got Angara here. And we're heading to go play with Bubba. It is 75 degrees outside, partially cloudy. It's an absolutely beautiful day. Um, the water is gonna be warm enough for her to go inside. She's absolutely loves swimming more than anything. And of course, she wants to go swimming with her Labrador friend. Are you excited? Are you ready? Bubbles has three Labrador friends, but only one lives with me. So we'll see if any of the other ones show up, but for sure, George is coming to the party. And Angara! Yeah, are you excited to watch Bubba play? George is so excited, he knows exactly what's going on. You're a good boy. Stay tuned. Oh, there's Bubba's giant trunk. Oh, look at those big feet. Did you know those feet actually expand and contract with each step? That makes it so she doesn't get stuck in the mud. And of course, they're just covered in wrinkles. Wrinkles everywhere. George is ready. He's waiting. Where's my giant pop up friend? Where is she? Go get her. Go get her, George. Where is she? <laughs> Here, go, boy. Go, go, pop up, pop, go. Go, go, pop up, pop, go. big, huh? Yeah. It helps 
No, she's just eating a tree. Yes, she actually eats the leaves and the bark and the whole stick. She thinks that is absolutely delicious. What do you think? You look a little tired. I don't know. I might need a nap. Uh, I have no idea. The whole I think that stick is she's gonna eat. This is absolutely normal. They actually tear down full trees, knock them down, eat the bark. Good roughage. Huh. What do you think, you beautiful girl? Look at how long those eyelashes are. Oh, hi! <laughs> that was a good noise. <laughs> those eyelashes actually help keep bugs out of her eyes because in Africa, can you imagine? Those bugs are insane. What she got in your mouth there? What she got in there? Anything good? I know you didn't see it. I didn't know someone else said it. That's a big bub bub, huh? Well, think about that big bub bub. Say hi to her. Go say hi to her. Who's that? It's Bob. <laughs> I haven't introduced you this one yeah. first. Oh. I have to zoom out now. Oh, what do you got there? <laughs> hi. This is Brooklyn. This is Brooklyn and Kiara. Yeah. We, call it, we call her Keekers. Sorry, I've just gone into parent hey. voice now. Oh, wow. Oh. Did Hello. you see the elephant? Oh, we did. Yeah. yeah. Actually, is like 30 something years old. Mm -hmm, 31. Yep, I'm a old bird. I'm, I'm a happy bird. bird. I'm a happy. So these do actually make all right pets, but the problem is they live a very, very long life. 75 years is the average right? lifespan. I'm so if you get a bird like this, you have to make sure you put it in your will and someone else will take care of it. <laughs> right? You're such a good birdie. You're such a good birdie. Look hey, how beautiful you are. Look how beautiful you are. Yes, you are. And you have the cutest We're little matching. outfit on. It's so boring. Oh, I'm matching with her. We're matching. Oh, you're so beautiful. I love you. She's a really, yeah. really big girl, huh? Bubbles is 9,000 pounds. She is 9 feet tall. That is a big girl. And she's 39 years old. <laughs> That's how Bubbles kisses. That's, she, I just got a big kiss from Bub Bub. What do you think, Angana? This is Angana's first time actually out here watching her swim and really interacting with her at all. And um, I think he's okay. He's been a little bit shy, but I think he's doing all right. What do you think of that big girl? What are, Bubbles. Bubbles, do you see this big chimpanzee boy? What do you think? Do you see him? Do you want to smell him? What does he smell like? He smells like a baby. Oh. You're such a good girl. Yeah. We rescued Bubbles from Africa uh, back in 1983. So the problem is, is ivory. Her whole family was actually killed for their ivory. And um, we actually flew over there in a 747 and picked her up and brought her to our house. And she's lived with us ever since. And now she's gonna go eat some tree. Her favorite tree of all is the myrtle tree. It's what Myrtle Beach is named after. She just thinks that is one of the most delicious trees of all time. But a lot of the time, it depends on the time of year. This here looks like an oak. This must be an oak. Um, so the oak must taste delicious this time of year. So one thing a lot of people don't know about elephants, which I think is very interesting, is that this giant ear here, look at that, has veins behind it. And those veins actually fill up with blood when it's hot outside and she'll wave that, that ear back and forth. And that's actually how she cools down her entire body. So when she gets uh, some water, she'll actually splash it behind that ear. And that'll all kind of work like a, a radiator, which is actually very, very cool. Um, what else about her? Elephants Listen. actually go through six or seven sets of teeth in their lifetime. She has four sets of four teeth. She only chews with the two in the front. When they actually wear entirely down, then the back ones will push those ones out and she gets another set of teeth. 
these guys will end up in their old life, they'll actually end up in swamp lands, and that's because they lose all of their teeth, and that swamp food is actually softer food, and that's where they live out their lives. That's absolutely crazy. I don't know if you guys remember, maybe from a childhood movie, they were talking about an elephant graveyard. Well, that's actually what happens, right? They go down to those swamplands and they live out their lives, and that's what that myth of the elephant graveyard came from. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Look at those toenails. It's got incredible cool toenails. They're really, really hard. Um, the tooth, or the, the ivory as they call it, this, this giant tusk right here, is actually just a tooth. It's an interesting tooth because it actually grows her entire life, where our teeth don't, and it grows at the same rate as hair. It just grows and grows and grows. They break it. This is normal. If she never broke her tooth, it would be 17 feet long today. No elephant has 17 feet long tusks today. Um, we all know poaching is a huge problem, right? Um, but something very interesting is happening right now, and that is that elephants are now being born without tusks. So basically, the poachers have eliminated, or are starting to eliminate, the tusk gene. Today, 35% of all African elephants born in the wild today are born without tusks. 75% of all Asian elephants are born without tusks. So if these guys can hold on long enough, no elephant will ever have tusks again, and hopefully there'll be no reason to ever hunt them. Fingers crossed. Save the elephant save the world. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is our big beautiful girl Bubbles. Once it gets a little bit warmer, maybe I'll go out there and swim with her. Comment down below if you want me to swim with her and if you want to see a video of that. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about how we're saving elephants or chimpanzees in the wild, check out rarespeciesfund.org. If you guys are interested in meeting Bubbles the elephant, check out myrtlebeachsafari.com and remember, Stay wild. <laughs> all right, we had a good swim. Bubbles is all clean and sparkly. I think he had a good time too. He's a little nervous there for a second, but I think he had a good time. What do you think, Angara? So now she's gonna head home. She's gonna grab every single piece of tree she can along the way because, as we say, the world is her salad. You're such a beautiful big girl, huh? Yeah, it's hard to get all of us in the frame at once. She's so big. You're such a good girl.